And also I discovered that I had limiting beliefs, obviously, that came from my past mm -hmm. and how I perceived myself mm -hmm. along the way and how I also conformed to what society thought I was. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for this beautiful Tuesday afternoon's edition of MYD Heart. And I'm so excited today because we're speaking to Violet Mureko, who has over two years experience as a life coach. And she aims to empower people to overcome personal challenges. Now, I feel like this is this is sort of kind of God, God sent because I think every other time we need a little reminder on uh, how to push through things. So Violet says that she's very passionate about learning and imparting knowledge on how humans can reach and activate their highest potential, especially in workplace settings. Well, Violet herself is joining me this afternoon on MRD Heart to share more on how you can overcome hurdles, whether in your personal life or workspace. Violet, how are you doing this beautiful afternoon? I'm very well. Thank you, Adora. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to speak to you today. <laughs> so, uh, Violet, uh, give us a short background of yourself and uh, why you have chosen to become a life coach. All right, um, good afternoon, everybody that's mm -hmm. listening. Thank you so much for tuning in. I was born and bred in Oshiwarongo, um, and that is where I completed my lower primary school. Yeah. Um, my background is in business management, where I did an honors in management at the University of Western Cape. Um, I thought that I was going to be in business mm -hmm. and I did some years in um, the practice yeah. of business management. Yeah. I worked for the Ministry of Mines and Energy for a couple of years mm -hmm. uh, before I migrated to South Africa mm -hmm. for a few years. Mm -hmm. And there I also had a post as a um, fundraising coordinator for one of the largest cancer organizations, um, which was a very demanding mm -hmm. job, really, because mm -hmm. um, we had targets and there was just a lot that was mm -hmm. demanded of us in terms of time that yeah. we had to give to the work. And, and so as I was doing this work, I always used to ask myself, um, I am a people's uh, person, mm -hmm. I love people, mm -hmm. but I was put in a place where I had to deal with papers yeah. and, you know, and money. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I had that question whether I was really at the right place mm -hmm. in, in terms of the alignment with who I, yeah. you know, yeah. deemed myself to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so um, an opportunity arose mm -hmm. at the UCT and I decided to study a program there. Mm -hmm. Um, and also uh, a lot to do with social work and uh, in innovation. Yeah. So I took on that, but at that very moment, I also decided to quit my job. <laughs> Oh because my goodness. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was really a bold decision uh -huh. and I had to ask for uh, that time uh, my husband I had to ask him whether I was doing the, making the right move. Yeah. Uh, but really my heart just wanted to leave. My heart wasn't happy. So I'm um, while I was doing the uh -huh. studies at uh -huh. UCT I actually discovered that I didn't know myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't know who I was mm -hmm. and what I wanted and where I was going. Yeah. I probably just did the studies because I had to yeah. please parents and, you know, that mm -hmm. was business management at NAS those years mm -hmm. was also kind of like a popular thing mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. So uh, how I transitioned to saying, um, let me do some soul searching. Yeah. The last day of my work, mm -hmm. when I gave in, handed in my resignation letter, I saw everything in full color again. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I actually realized that my mind was just focused on one thing mm. and I, I missed so much mm -hmm. of what life is. So imagine a corporate setting, being in a corporate setting and all of a sudden now completely flipping the coin to something where you now have the chance to personally interact with people, to also fully express yourself. Yes. And I think in the midst of all of that, I, I, what I think is beautiful from that is mm. that you also went on a self-discovering journey. Yes, uh -huh. pretty much. Uh -huh. And and that is where I started to ask myself important questions mm -hmm. like, who who am I? Mm -hmm. Who do I want to serve? And where am I going? Mm -hmm. And and those questions were really pertinent to my next elevation yeah. level, yeah. where I saw myself. And it wasn't really easy mm -hmm. because it meant confronting a lot of um, habits and you know things that I used to do that were not right. Yeah. And also, I discovered that I had limiting beliefs, obviously, that came from my past mm -hmm. and how I perceived myself mm -hmm. along the way. And 
how I also conformed to what society thought I was yeah. or had to be. Ooh, I love, <laughs> I love, I love how you grew from being who you thought you were into yeah. now being you know, at your fullest potential. And I think that is perfect in line with what you do. Mm. Now, what are your focus uh, focus areas, if I can put, put it like that, mm. in your uh, life coaching journey? All right, so about two years ago, I did a course with mm -hmm. an institution called Life Exchange, mm -hmm. and they basically, their focus point is mentorship and life coaching. Mm. And so that put me in line um, with really dealing with issues that I had and how mm. I overcame those mm -hmm, issues mm -hmm. but now obviously this one on an educational platform where we can use different tools to yeah. help people yeah so my focus area is basically what I stand for is a company that helps people to be intentional about creating a life they mm. desire not really um, having an eight to five job mm -hmm. that you are not happy about, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. that you just go to because you have to get a salary, mm -hmm. but living from your full potential um, with the desires of your heart, mm -hmm. living out of those. Because the one thing I've, I've also realized is I don't want to be 60 and sitting under a tree yeah. and regretting for not doing certain things Imagine. that I really, really wanted yeah. to do. Yeah. That for me was a picture that was so scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So going this route of life coaching is really uh, about, um, it's about facing your demons. Mm. Is about dismantling those mm. beliefs that you thought were true, but in actual fact were just societal, um, you know, uh, uh, imposed. I, you know, I think it's best told when you also have that kind of experience and you come from that background where you actually had to face those demons and uh, you know take those scary steps all out of the the, the deepest you know desires in your heart and i mm. think that is that is what stands out for me mm. now you there's there's something you you now venturing into and this is called transformational leadership mm -hmm. talk us through that a little bit um, so, a couple to my studies at, at this Life Exchange Institution, mm -hmm. I also did um, a, a certification in transformational leadership mm -hmm. with Ali, which is the African Leadership Institute. Mm -hmm. And really, there it's about character development. Mm. It's it's about having skillful hands, an upright character, mm -hmm. and really operating with love. Mm. Um, most of the time, we realize that this world actually just need love. The remedy for all that's going on, mm. all the killings, all the abortions, all the mismanagement of, of, of resources yeah. are things that are rooted in something that's not love mm. and uh, with transformational leadership we as leaders come back to ourselves and say we are also uh, people and therefore we have flaws mm. but how can we work through our flaws to create a, a brighter or better mm. future for ourselves mm. humans and and this is obviously just from a pure genuine perspective yes. love <laughs> l-o-v-e <laughs> really it's that simple uh -huh, uh -huh. but then when it has to be put in practice that's where we all struggle Absolutely. and that's where we all stumble because most of the time we believe that our assignment is about f enriching ourselves mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. actually our, our assignment is actually enriching the other. Absolutely loving yeah. this. Thanks yeah. so much, Violet. We'll be talking a little bit more to Violet, which, who's a more than two years experienced a life coach, and she'll be talking to us a little bit more right after Whiskey. Bad to me. This is 99 FM. <laughs> Sounds of Voice Kid, Bad to Me, and you're still listening to 99 FM, your favorite radio station. We are in the middle of MYD Heart as we're speaking to Miss Violet, who is a life coach uh, with about two years' experience, and we are just having this amazing conversation. We just want to say, you've been missing out. So, welcome back. And uh, Violet, let's go a little bit into how you share some positive stories. Uh, this is, of course, through your field of work. All right. Um, so I've, I've, one thing about me is that I really, really do, um, I put myself out there, mm. you know, wherever I feel there's a need mm. uh, of, of, of actually problems or s 
people that needing the help in the direction of life yeah. coaching, I always put myself mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of positive stories from my um, client base because I also do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Mm -hmm. And one of the most beautiful thing is seeing somebody moving from A to B, mm. where B is their better place, mm. you know. Seeing somebody who has, who came in with such a heavy cloud mm -hmm. um, a, 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 above them, mm. living there um, after a few months happy and fulfilled, mm. that for me is, is really what keeps me going and yeah. what keeps me wanting to come back and do some more work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if I have to really zone in a bit, I've been doing some work for a foundation called Hope for Life. Mm -hmm. They are in I think it's Pownies Park, mm -hmm. and um, they actually help mothers who, you know, can't take care of their baby if they you can't afford to mm. to care for the baby. So they actually drop the babies there, and these people um, give them diapers or whatever it is that they need. But now the mothers didn't have somebody to um, to talk to them mm. about life, the issues that they're having, um, the problems that limiting them from seeing themselves become better. And so I took on that project. Um, about six, seven months ago. And it was seven ladies that I coached um, twice a month, mm -hmm. see them, um, do my tools with them, chat with them a bit. And sometimes it would just be sitting and listening in. And after a few months, which may be about five months or so, I can tell you that five of those ladies mm -hmm. got a job. <gasps> Yeah, employed. I, I'm and getting goosebumps. <laughs> oh my! And, and they came back with tears in their eyes, mm -hmm. um, telling me how their lives have changed, how mm -hmm. their situations were better. And um, for uh, confidentiality, I can't go into the stories, yes. but one of the ladies particularly came to me and said, Violet, you know what, I just want to tell you that I think you are heaven sent um, for the things mm -hmm. that have changed in my life. Just when I met with mm. you, when I started the sessions with you. Mm -hmm. And most of the work is really done um, by them. Mm -hmm. All we do is really just be that accountability partner, sit with them, see their situation, see how you can also um, implement a few simple steps that they mm. can take to change their lives. And it's really just beyond life coaching. It's becoming a friend, a companion, and really walking the journey of with change. Side them. by side, yes. I think that's yes. so beautiful. <laughs> so that 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 that's one of my highlight. Mm -hmm. um, you know, aside from all my clients, um, can attest to the experience with me. Mm -hmm. um, I can actually. No, talk it's okay. Me, it's yeah. okay. Absolutely understood. <laughs> and I, and I think uh, it goes without saying. I mean, the passion is just a drop in the ocean. I think yeah. it, it, it it's. It's just a, a little step ahead or, bef or, or beyond just the passion. Mm. It's the love element that you mentioned yes. earlier. Yes. And uh, I think a lot of us can attest that uh, this is not just about being that serious life coach, but mm -hmm. becoming a companion and a friend, and a friend to these yes. beautiful people yes. and these stories. I, I actually like that mm -hmm. because uh, what, what I find is that sometimes when the people are off, you know, of of the the plan or the goals that we've been setting, um, some of them would stay away. And mm. um, as a coach, you have to have that freedom to allow um, and tell them that we all have flaws. Yeah. And sometimes we do get off the mm -hmm. radar, mm -hmm. and that we can basically come back and be authentic about it. And, and I think it's okay yeah. to have those little kind of setbacks. But I yeah. think the admitting part of it yes. and being in denial that we're going through the setback, and yes. now we need to reset, but we still got to keep going. I think we can go Absolutely. all day about this. But what is next for Violet? What <laughs> are we? Uh, what can we look forward to for Violet uh, going forward? Um, so um, I've started this series of uh, monthly workshops mm -hmm. that help empower people. Mm -hmm. And it's really the excitement um, that I have in mm -hmm. this workshop mm -hmm. that takes me through. And this Saturday, I'm hosting one which is called um, Release Your Full Potential. Mm -hmm. Release Ooh, Your Full yes, Potential. Yes, I love it. It feels like the beast in me is just awoken. <laughs> so what, what so can we expect at uh, Release Your Full Potential? potential. Um, so this workshop is really... Um, coupled with identity, who we are, and then at the same time uh, to assess whether we are really working in our purpose. Most of the time we are doing things, but is that really mm -hmm. what you are called to come and mm -hmm. do? Mm -hmm. And so... It's also uh, where we can come in, uh, um, look at our awareness in terms of what really fits us, mm. what really satisfies us, um, and 
uh, another section will be looking at the limiting beliefs, which mm. is a big, big factor because there is, there has been a lot that is imposed on us and society, social media, wherever you go, you mm. are actually being, your attention is actually being grabbed from every direction. Yep. And then how do you really have that focused mindset and know exactly mm. whether the, your vision is clear and also that you are not being distracted. Mm. So we will dive into all those factors, purpose, mm -hmm. vision for ourselves, um, are we aligned with, with our calling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, also a lot of people have been asking me, when we look at ourselves, when we ask ourselves who we are, who are we really? So we're going to look at things like uh, that constitute a mm -hmm. human being, mm -hmm. which is the mind, the body and the soul or the spirit, mm -hmm. if you want to mm -hmm. call it as such, mm -hmm. to see how those three can be aligned in order for us to fully operate mm -hmm. from, our, from our potential. One thing's for sure, Violet, <laughs> you are living your full purpose, and I can <laughs> definitely, definitely attest to that. So finally, mm -hmm. Violet, if you mm -hmm. want to make use of your services as a mm -hmm. life coach, where do we get in touch with you and how? All right, so uh, we have an Instagram handle, which mm -hmm. is at Elevate Edify. Mm -hmm. And we're also on Facebook, obviously. That's mm -hmm. where everybody is. Yay. So we, at Facebook, we are Elevate Edify Life Coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find us there. Please like the page, interact with us. We do post here mm -hmm. and there. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit of an introvert, so... Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're still I try getting, my best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, where else? So um, other than that, we do have a number that I'm, I might give you at yeah. the end of the, of the interview. Yeah. I think you can go yeah. right ahead. Okay, so yeah. the number is 081-331-8478. Repeat that for us. 081 8478 And this is where you can also call for one on one consultations. Mm -hmm. Come, let's have a chemistry session mm -hmm. where I just come and know you. Mm -hmm. uh, we speak a little bit. I listen to you. And then you can also see if I'm a good fit to be a life coach for your life. And the others then would be the, the workshops that we host either at corporates or our monthly Dream Creators workshop, mm -hmm. uh, like the one that's happening on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there any tickets for sale or is it for free? Yeah, there are tickets for sale. Um, one ticket is going for three hundred and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. uh, we are going to host that at a venue on Independence Avenue, mm -hmm. Turing Off Hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I'm familiar with that one. Nine yes. o'clock uh, on Saturday. Save that time. Um, three hours of just purely investing in yourself. Mm -hmm. um, how many of us don't really take the time to have an appointment with ourselves? Very true. So come and have an appointment with yourself. Violet, I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure uh, out there, there are quite a few listeners who learned something today and are mm -hmm. looking forward to make use of your services. Thank you so much. Thank you Anytime. for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was uh, Lady Violet, as I'd like to call her, Mureko, that is a life coach. And she was talking to us about her beautiful, inspiring journey. This is 99FM and this is how we end MYD Heart. MYD Heart was proudly brought to you by NHP. NHP, we are about you.